G'day, Sambo here. Wednesday, 28th of December, about a quarter past 11 in the morning. Um, not a bad day. Human as anything now. Sweating like nobody's business. Got the sweat rag on. Um, I had big plans for 2016. Not all of them came off, unfortunately. Got caught up with a few other projects. Um, getting myself sorted with a wood stove, so I'm hoping in the next month or so I'll have that finally sorted. But that took care of about three grand so far. Uh, two and a half, I think by the time I get it installed it'll be about three grand all up. But I'll leave that for another video. And I'll just get on to showing you what I've been up to today. So when I started running the shack off grid, I just had these two 600 watt panels. That was enough. I still had to be reasonably careful. Um, a few months ago, I added that 300 watt panel. Um, still not using that array at the moment. And then, what was it last year? I bought 12 of these panels. These ones here. Mum and Dad have got four of them. Um, the, these were second hand, these are REC panels, manufactured January 2015. They'd been on a roof, there was a lightning strike nearby, the insurance company said that all the electrical gear had to be replaced. The contractor replaced them, he unsold them to me, these are working fine. Um, so as I was saying, mum and dad got four off me there running them, and... I was going to run just eight on my giant power charge controller, but that's got a max VOC of 145 volts, so I can only do strings of three panels. So then I bought that 265 watt panel, less than ideal, but overall there's five watts difference between that and that one, so it shouldn't be too bad. So I'll have three strings of three panels. This morning I was running eight of these panels, so one series string, one series string, um, because it's overcast, so I wanted to keep the wattage up. Then the sun would clear, and the kid charge controller, which I'm still using, uh, that puts out 30 amps into the battery, and I'm still only running 20 amp circuit breakers. So that was nuisance stripping. So I've dropped back. I'm only using six of those panels now. Uh, where are we? One, two, three, four, five, six. That's it. That should give me enough power. I will go under the house and see what else I've done today to get me all sweaty. So this is my 24 volt, 375 amp hour battery bank. That's 10, 12 volt, 75 amp hour batteries. So, series, 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 then all hooked up in parallel. Less than ideal, but these are free. Do what you've got to do. You see the 2013 written on there. That's when they were installed into a shopping centre up in Canberra. They did two years of service up there, and they've been pulled out. I've been running off them just fine for the last couple of months. Um, when I started off, these are 2 volt, 630 amp hour, forklift batteries. Um, got a bit of a bulge in the batteries. I paid $40 each for these. $480. They're all hooked up in series. 24 volts, 630 amp hours. Um, so in the past, if I did want to swap between these, it was a case of unhook and Hook all the cabling up to them. There's today's change. So, positive coming in. This is coming from the 375 amp hour battery bank. This one's coming in from the 630 amp hour battery bank. Common goes out to the inverter. Off. Bank one. 
You can also use ba both banks at once. I never intend to do that. Okay, now we cook them with gas. Got a negative from the charge controller hooked up to the back of the inverter there. Positive from the charge controller hooked up to this switch. So now the charge controller is on the inverter side of that switch. That goes to both batteries. So I can have my breaker turned on. And got the switch turned off. No power going to the charge controller. Switch to bank one. Charge controller starts up. Twenty six point five volts. Turn it off. Charge controller turns off. Bank two. Twenty-five and a half. I'm going to leave it on that for a bit. Now turn the PV on. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon at the moment. 180 watts. About seven amps going in. And I'll leave it on this bank for a while. So that gives me just over a thousand amp hours at 24 volts under the house there. Um, yes, it's a little bit of a pain in the ass having to switch between the two. But overall, still fairly happy with where I am. I'm still running off of that little 2000 watt inverter. I haven't got the big batteries hooked up in the shed. Um, might be able to get an electrician around in the new year have a look at things give me an idea of what needs to be done uh, he's licensed in this state so he can come down have a look tell me what i need to do and you know, it's just a matter of saving up some money and getting him to, in to do it so thanks for watching and i'll talk to you in another video i'm going to turn the power on now been offline for a, a couple of hours and get the fan going bloody cool off a little bit I'll see you later.